In New Jersey, Governor Murphy is taking more steps that point to a return to some sense of normalcy. And today's focus is on hospitals. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is in Washington Township with today's developments. Cleve. Yuki, more than a million New Jerseyans out of work, but many of them getting the news that they want to hear this week. Some reopening of businesses and now non-emergency surgeries. Look at how dramatically things have moved in just a few weeks. With COVID-19 hospitalizations dropping rapidly and healthcare systems by and large far from overwhelmed, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy gave another green light Friday, allowing the return of elective surgeries. Allowing for these procedures to resume is a big step forward for public health. And we're able to do this on May 26th because the data we receive daily from within our hospitals says we can. Patients needing anything from joint replacements to cancerous tumors removed will have to take a coronavirus test 72 hours before surgery and then self-isolate until the procedure. Not only will this help patients, but this will help relieve some of the financial stress hospitals are suffering. Also to assist the state's economic recovery, Murphy announced the administration will allocate $50 million from the Federal CARES Act to help jumpstart small businesses. Access to capital is number one priority. Christina Renna is the president of the Chamber of Commerce of Southern New Jersey and says money for payroll, rent and purchasing power is absolutely essential right now for small businesses, which employ about 60% of all workers in New Jersey. She says allowing curbside pickup to start this coming Monday for non-essential businesses will be a big economic boost, but she says more businesses are ready to open up and the government needs to provide more safety guidelines. Businesses of all shapes and sizes, all industry types, you, you know, your micro businesses, your, your sole proprietors to your 500 person business, you need guidelines from government as to what is going to be required to keep your employees safe, your clients and your customers safe. Now, speaking of guidelines, the governor laid out his plan for the July 7th primary, saying that all registered Democrats and Republicans will automatically get vote by mail ballots sent to their homes with postage for return. And those who are unaffiliated will get applications for vote by mail. But he said every municipality in New Jersey should also have at least one polling place open on primary day. Reporting live in Washington Township, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Witness News. Cleve, thank you for that.